Bills, a B-minus from Pete Prisco. Brady, do you agree with that? I, I do. Uh, I'm not going necessarily grading this one, but this was one of the more puzzling drafts for me in looking at what the Bills did. I mean, Dalton Kincaid, uh, first-round talent. Uh, I didn't know it was as big of a need maybe as they felt internally. You got Dawson Knox on our contract till 2026. Uh, he's capable of playing a role in the passing game. Maybe they're looking at it moving forward saying we want to play more two tight end sets, that 12 personnel. I love the Osiris Torrance pick, though, and that's where I kind of thought they were going to go in the first round is being able to get some more beef up front. Not on the O-line, even stacking their defensive front, too. They got pushed around by the Bengals. I mean, they got physically beat up by the Bengals at home. I thought that was where they were going to kind of hang their hat at least the first couple of picks. Wasn't the case. Uh, Dorian Williams is obviously can help uh, fit in that linebacker hole that's going to the left there with some of the players to move forward. But overall, I could see where you dinged them a little bit. It felt like, um, you know, not that this is a roster that needs a lot of help, but it was one in which I thought they'd focus more on the interior O-line, D-line. It uh, didn't seem like that was the case. Right? That's what I would have done. I, I would have gone offensive line, defensive line. Now, there's talk they want to use Kincaid, double tight ends to move him out. He's not an inline tight end, so you can do that and help the passing game a little bit. Uh, he's not going to block. That's not what he does. He's a pass catcher. So I think that's why they did it. I understand it, but I would have been with you. I would have gone Torrance and maybe another big defensive or offensive line. The other thing is when I look at his, his value as kind of an off-the-ball move tight end, there is probably other players you could have looked at, and we'll get to them as we go through this list, that made more sense there. You know, he, he doesn't come off to me as like an Evan Ingram where he's going to be that Laporta. dynamic. Not even Laporta. I, I wouldn't even put him in that mix. I think those are, there's a, this was a great class of very traditional hand-in-the-dirt wide tight ends. I think Kincaid, who didn't play a ton, if you look at his evolution right. from Utah, Keithy was really their guy this year. Right. Kincaid stepped in when Keithy got hurt. Bottom line is a little bit puzzling.